Okay, so we're asked to uh, enlarge this shape by scale factor 2, center of enlargement at 4 minus 3, and then we've got asked to label it B. Okay, <clears throat> now we have the center of enlargement shown for us, but sometimes you won't be, so that might be the first thing you do, is just write down, put a little cross where the center of enlargement is. And to do this, there are two ways of doing this. There's a way where you draw the ray lines on, so you would draw the lines on like so, and that's absolutely valid technique. Okay, you draw all the ray lines on. So what I'm doing is joining up the center of enlargement with each of the three points on the shape and just carrying the line on, and that's absolutely fine. I do it a slightly different way. What I need to do is find out how to get from the center of enlargement to each of those points. So I'm going to start at the center of enlargement, go to the bottom left on the shape. Okay, so I'm going to jump one, two to the left, and one up. And if it's scale factor two, I've just got to do that one more time. So one, two, and then one up. So it's going to be there. I'm going to do that with the other uh, two points. So one to the right, one up to get to this point. So I'm going to go one to the right, one up to go to the enlarge point. And finally, I'm going to do it one more time to get that top left one. So one, two jumps to the right, one, two, three up. So one, two to the left, and one, two, three up. Okay, and then I'm going to join it up to get my new shape. Join up all three points. And it says label it B. Now, I always find this much, much easier to do by looking at how far left, how far up do I have to go. Now, if the scale factor is three, I would do it once, do it again to get scale factor two, and then do it a third time. So for this green one, I would go another two to the right and another one up if it was scale factor three, which it's not in this question, so I'll get rid of that. And it's that simple. And we can just make sure that it's correct by looking at how far, uh, what the width and height of that shape were. It was one and two, and they are now two and four. So we know it's probably correct.